Void, got a minute, long time no see. How have you been? No angels, I've been better. What's been on your mind, buddy? Well, to be brutally honest with you, I haven't seen her in a whole year. I really want to ask her out on a date, but school has been preventing me from doing so. Well then, if I were you, I'd pick up the phone and call her. After all, you have nothing to lose, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Guess I've just been a nervous wreck ever since she joined the UAV last year. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I can be intimidated by her sometimes. You love her, don't you? If anything, I would say, go for it. Oh yeah! Let me in! Thanks, Rangers. I really do appreciate it. Excuse me, Mr. Void. Mini Mr. Intel, it's great to see you again. Likewise. Now then, Mr. Void, would you please be so kind as to follow me into my office? I would like to have a word with you. Yes, of course, Minister. I still can't believe our blueberry boy is growing up so fast. I agree. Now come on, let's go to the gym. We need to train Magenta for his rematch with Droid. So, Minister Intel, what is it you wanted to speak to me about? Mr. Void. I have a present for you. A present for me? Happy birthday, Mr. Boyd. was my very first laptop. It's yours. Your first laptop? You mean, you're giving me your... But of course, Mr. Boyd, you've already done so much for the U of E throughout the years. And although we don't have much nowadays to show our appreciation for you, it was only fair that I give you my first laptop. So you can code script and create anything at your heart's content. As long as you continue to follow the U of E's rules and regulations, of course. Minister Intel, I honestly don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Um, Minister Intel, would you mind explaining the specs for your laptop? But of course now then. This old laptop contains an i4 processor, it has 7GB of RAM and a TR80 graphics card other than that the hard drive is 500GB. It should be enough for what you need, but enough about specs. Why don't you open it and see for yourself? Floppy disk should be able to break into the password protection problem. Hmm, I wonder. Now if you'll please excuse me, Mr. Void, I must run some errands for Minister Norton. Looks like Microsoft is up Norton's ass again after what happened last year with the Orbital Malex laser. Hear me well, Minister. I'll leave you to it. Yo, Void, did you hear what happened to Liz? Apparently, she's taking a one-week vacation with her friends. If Liz is going on vacation with the school, then that's fine by me. I need as much time as I can to inspect this old PC. Now then, let's see what kind of computer fit you are, shall we? Okay. So this computer threat that has just been discovered has been classified as spyware. 
is a software that enables users to obtain covert information about another computer's activities, either via transmitting data covertly from their hard drive or through the internet. Men, this PC looks like a piece of junk. Where did you find it? It was Minister Intel. He gave it to me. So Rangers, what have you been up to while I was gone? Well, let's just say that we are still at war with the Darug Militia and the Nine Dragons. No matter how hard we try to eliminate them, they always resurface like cockroaches. I'm telling you, boys, we're all getting sick of these assholes. I can see why now. I'm pretty sure both of my stepfathers are still hell-bent on destroying each other. But then again, they've been doing this for many years now. What about you, boy? What's been happening with you and Liz? Now, yeah, let's just say that I got called back into the UAV after the ministers got infected last year by the orbital Malik's laser. So I recently joined the UAV Academy in order to complete my training to become a future minister. As for Liz, she's been studying on her own, I guess. Jeez, Void! Looks like you haven't been having it easy with the United Antivirus Movement either, hmm? Yep, and to make matters worse, I need to start studying for my graduation exam in two months from now. Well, hey, I know what will cheer you up. Anyone up for some movie night? Sure, you don't mind seeing a movie. The blowhards, look inside, there's a wrench. Close your eyes and cut up your head. Let's see what we can uncover inside this laptop, shall we? Now let's see. According to Minister Intel's browser history, which he forgot to remove for some apparent reason. It appears that he recently purchased three books over the years involving medicine and jewelry. That's odd. This is probably the very first time I've ever discovered Intel having an interest with jewels. In addition, looks like Minister Intel has also purchased three paintings of one specific jewel called the Florentine Diamond. Uh, what's this? Looks like a news article. Florentine Diamond from the Monte Clara Casino has been stolen. Please need your help to find who's responsible for this pet. A large cash award will be rewarded for whoever finds the Florentine Diamond first. Hmm. According to these emails exchanged between Minister Intel and an outsider, it says here that the stolen Florentine diamond may contain possible ingredients needed to cure the ministers from the Malik's attack. Yo, void! Come downstairs! 
Your breakfast is getting cold. Pixie Blue, may I ask you a question about your old group as a con artist? It's of course. Please ask away. Alright then, tell me. Do you know anything about the Florentine Diamond that was stolen years ago at the Monte Clara Casino? The Florentine Diamond. The Florentine Diamond. Now that is a jewel that hasn't been seen on Vindux Green Earth for over thousands of years. It is said in legend that the diamond was shattered and injected into a substance that nowadays can be used to either protect or destroy computers. Destroy computers? In what way? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take that up with the previous owner of this computer. You void! Where do you think you're going? I'm going to Intel Corporation. I want to know exactly what Minister Intel has to do with the stolen Florentine. Void, are you crazy? If Minister Intel finds you, he'll send us both into quarantine. You understand that, right? I know, but if we don't find the cure for the Orbital Malik's laser, then we'll end up losing half of our army to optical illusions. And trust me, neither of us want that to happen. Mr. Blue, will you join me? Meh, so be it. But if we get caught by Minister Intel, it's your head. Understood. Let's go pay a visit to Minister Intel, shall we? And so, upon discovering some secrets left behind by Minister Intel on his old laptop, both Void Ranger and Axer Blue are now heading to Intel Corporation to find out more about the Florentine Diamond. So what kind of secret mysteries is Minister Intel hiding from his star pupil? And will our heroes be able to find this stolen Florentine Diamonds? Don't miss the heart-gripping episode of Axer Rangers S. And as announced by the Axer Rangers earlier, coming to Brawl Royal, it's official, Axer Magenta is ready for another round with Droid Ranger, only this time, the battle, for the World Championship will be contested in the four stages of Hell, the first stage is a traditional wrestling match, stage 2 will be a barbed wire massacre where all the ropes will be replaced with barbed wire, stage 3 will be a tables, ladders and chairs match to grab the title, and finally, the fourth and final stage will be an inferno match, where either one of these fighters, must throw their opponent into the flames below, who will walk out of Brawl Royal with the World Heavyweight Championship. Axel Rangers as Brawl Royal, more matches coming soon, 13 episodes away.